In with new developments and several scandals, and the president announcing a major shift in the war on terror. Join, joining us to talk about all of it is the number two Democrat in the Senate, Dick Durbin, who's in Springfield, Illinois, and Republican Senator Lindsey Graham from Columbia, South Carolina. Senators, I want to start with the Justice Department targeting reporters and national security leaks. But it turns out that Holder signed off on an affidavit for a search warrant in one leak case, and I want to bring that up with you. Here's what uh, that affidavit said. There is probable cause to believe the reporter, in this case Fox News' is James Rosen, has committed a violation of the Espionage Act, either as an aider, a better, and or co-conspirator. And yet, Senator Graham, despite that clear contradiction between what Holder said and what he actually did, President Obama is asking the Attorney General to investigate his own actions. Well, this would be a good time to have a special counsel come forward or some independent group to look at it. James Rosen is a lot of things, but a criminal co-conspirator conspirator he is not. We're beginning to criminalize uh, journalism, and I think that should worry us all. But having said that, when classified information is leaked out in the public that they can put our operations or American operatives in harm's way, we've got to find a way to pursue that, too. But this is clearly an overreach. But Senator, you talk about Durbin, Memorial how, Day weekend. It's also about the First Amendment and the role, the very important yes, role that the media play. Honestly, are you comfortable with the idea that the president has asked the attorney general to review the attorney general's own actions? Well, you, you've raised an important point, and I heard Senator Graham call for special counsel. I'm not ready to do this at this moment. I'd like to know if Holder uh, has any conflict in here beyond what we've heard uh, when it comes to the Fox case. But 